Yeah, hi everybody. Uh, today I'm putting the uh, DPF back in my truck. I took it out and had it cleaned. But um, I know there's some videos out there that show you the right way to take all this apart. But there is a big shortcut here that I I don't think I've seen. Um, like I said, the last video I saw on YouTube um, actually showed you. You take this whole basket off, basically. Um, back in there, these bolts, and you pull this whole unit off. And then you got to unhook all these lines, all these connections, you know, the, these deaf lines, and uh, it's just a pretty big process, I mean, to take all that off. Then, then, after you get it off, you gotta take, you gotta pull the SCR out, out of the top, um, I said all of this has to come off. Uh, but I found a pretty big shortcut here because really the only thing we're dealing with is the actual the DPF which, um, I've got it halfway up in there but so these the catalyst and the DPF are the parts that get clean so that's really the only, need, the only thing you need to get out because if you take all the rest of this out you're going to be in clamps gaskets and everything else and they're kind of pricey I mean just for the this clamp these two big clamps the gaskets and uh, I did replace one temperature sensor on the number three because it was kind of golden when I took it out. But the other one and two looked pretty good. But uh, for all that at Kenworth, I was in like $440. So it's pretty pricey, those clamps. But what I want to show y'all is on the ends, this is what holds that DPF up in there. And these are riveted. And what we did, I just ground the rivets off and dropped the DPF out the bottom. And I, I had it out of here in an hour. Um, I didn't have to take the other end off, but um, to get it out. But to get it back in, I, I can't pry it out. So I'm gonna cut these rivets off, then put bolts back in them. And that way, I can just just take a floor jack and put the the DPF straight up in there and have it right back in. Then once I get, then I'll put the the cradles in and bolt those in, and uh, put the clamps on and everything back up and be done with it but um other than that i'll probably say go back together in an hour and a half like i said if you get into taking this whole unit off uh, which isn't really necessary in my opinion maybe somebody else knows something but uh i, I don't i don't really see because everything i've shown they pull the scr out and you don't even do anything with it so i don't really see any reason to take all that apart so i don't know why they didn't make this a little bit simpler but that would be my uh little shortcut recommendation is just like I said to grind those roots off you can put bolts back in them and uh be done with it but uh Hope this helps you save some time and money and see you next time.